There are two main types of hyperlinks in Google Sheets. The first one is using a formula. We'll start with equals hyperlink and then open a bracket. The URL is what we want to link to. We'll put that into double quotation marks and the link label is what we want it to display. So here we have Uluru and if we click on this hyperlink, it takes us to the Wikipedia page for Uluru. The other type is a direct link. So let's just type in Uluru and we'll hold control K and then paste in where we want that to link to. Click on apply and we're done. But they are different. If we click on this one, all we see in the formula bar is the word. But if we click on the first one, we can see the full hyperlink. Now, if our link is like the first one with the function, then we can use the formula text function to extract that link. So over in C3, we'll use equals formula text and then click on B3. Press enter and that gives us the entire thing. But we just want the link, so we're going to press enter on that to enter the cell and we'll start off with a split. We want to split by double quotation marks. That's double quotation marks within double quotation marks and press enter. You can see this splits it into five different columns with our link being in the second column. So now back in C3, we can start off with the index function. The URL is in the second column, so we put a two, press enter, and there's our link. Now, if we just want the text, let's just lock that in place before we copy it over to column D. And now we can get the fourth index in order to get the word that we want. If we were to try to use the same formula for the second link, equals formula text, this one, it doesn't actually give us anything because there's no formula within B4. So to extract the link from this, we're going to need to use a script. So open up extensions, app script. In our script, we're going to create our own custom function that extracts the information from the link. Now I've seen this done before online, so I'm going to copy and paste the script that I've found online, and then we're going to see the downfalls and how we're going to improve it. So we've got this script here, copy, paste that in, and we can see that we've got get URL being our uh, function that we're going to be using within our spreadsheet. We're going to input a cell, and then we've got our details down here. This first line creates a variable called my formula and sets it to the formula of the currently active range. This line is our second variable called my address. It removes the get URL from my formula and replaces it with the cell address. And this variable down here called my range sets it to the range or cell of my address. This last part is the bit that we actually see in the final result. And all that does is gets the text value from my range, which we had before, which could potentially contain hyperlinks and then extract the URL from the text in my range. So let's see this in action. First, we have to save it. And then back in our sheet, if we write equals get URL and we choose B4, that loads and then gets the URL directly from B4, which is the Uluru page. Now there are some drawbacks to this method. First, if we try out equals a get URL and then click on B4, it returns nothing. It's an error and that's because the custom function is case sensitive. So if we write this, we do need to write it as equals get URL with the right capitals in the right places. We click on B4 again and we get the response we want. Now, if we were to change this from get URL with lowercase to the correct uh, result, then it still gives us an error because we actually have to delete the whole thing and then start over, which is a bit of a pain. So let's see how we can improve the script. So if a person uses uppercase or lowercase or some sort of mixed case, it doesn't actually matter. But before we do, if this video has been helpful, make sure you let me know down in the comments and click that like button. So back in our script, all we're going to do is highlight this part inside the first replace, delete that, and we're going to put in there forward slash equals dot star question mark backslash open a bracket forward slash comma quotation marks and we don't actually need that second bracket so all that's doing is removing the function name which was in this part here no matter what case was in it it's looking for the equals which is what our formula starts with and that's followed by any number of characters it's being what's called non-greedy followed by an open parenthesis which is pretty much how all functions look so this is going to match all of our get URLs. So if we save this, go back to our spreadsheet, let's delete all of these and we'll type in equals get URL and we'll click on B4. That gives us what we want, even though this is lowercase and our function name is actually mixed case. We can try a few different variations. Let's do equals get URL and we'll go with B5. 
we can try equals a completely mixed case, click on B6, and that gives us exactly what we need. Now you probably noticed I haven't been using this B3 here, let's try it out. And it does indeed give us what we need. We're looking for the URL and that's what it gave us. Now we're going to go even further with this because Google Sheets has this awesome feature where you can put multiple links within one cell. So I've got this bit of text here. I'm going to create a bunch of links. So control K on the word one, and then I'm going to go to one news, I guess. On the word day, I'm just going to select the word day, control K, and then it's going to give me, let's say uh, the Merriam-Webster definition. Let's go with fly next. Down the bottom, we get the Wikipedia page for fly. And lastly, away. Let's go to, oh, it's already been linked to fly. So just get rid of that. And we'll scroll down to IMDB, the away series. So now when we mouse over this, it's going to give us all four of those links. But if we try to use this custom function on it, it doesn't give us anything in return. So let's fix that. We'll go back up to our project editor. Let's delete the last return and let's create a new variable. This is going to be rich text values equals my range dot get rich text values dot get runs and another variable called URLs. Now this URLs is just going to be an empty array because in the next step, we're going to create a loop that inputs each individual URL into this array. We're creating a for loop. Our variable will be I and that will be equal to zero. We'll continue the for loop as long as we have enough rich text values and then incrementing each of our I values by one. We'll create a new singular variable. So for each I, rich text value, we're going to get the link URL. As long as we have a URL to pull from, we're going to get our URL and push it into our URLs array. We'll close that bracket. We'll close another bracket for our for loop. I forgot to open the for loop. And then at the end, we'll return URLs. Save, go back to our spreadsheet, and there we go, straight away, I didn't even have to do anything. It updated all of our links. Now, if you've got a whole column of different URLs, then this isn't going to work. They're going to interfere with each other. So maybe we want these across. And instead of just using the transpose function, which we definitely could do, how about we do that within this project itself? All we need to do is wrap the array of URLs in another array to make it a row. We'll save that. And when we pop back here, this should automatically change to a, a row and we're good to go. So now paste in a bunch of new places, type equals get URL, select B11. There's our link and we can double click this to copy all the way down and we're good to go.